people, I'm Allie. And I'm Lizzie, and we're the Photo Sisters. Today we're going to talk about if starting a photography business is right for you. Yay! It is obviously right for me. She has a business, I don't. <laughs> so I know, you know, a lot of people talk about photography businesses lately because they're great because it's accessible to get into. You don't need formal, formal training to get into it. A lot of people absolutely love photography. They have a passion for it. And a lot of people are very talented with photography. Maybe you have friends or family or even yourself saying like, hey, you have a really good eye. You, sh you should start a business. <laughs> so, you know, it seems it's really tempting to start a photography business because there's so many positives involved, but you really need to make an educated decision. <laughs> so first, I'm going to talk about why starting a photography business isn't necessarily for me. Now, in no way does that mean I don't know how to take great pictures or I don't have talent. I don't know if your talent and my talent are like the same <laughs> ideas of what talent is. But I certainly enjoy taking pictures. I get many compliments on the pictures I do take. But for me, it just wasn't feasible with my two young children that require 100% of my time. My husband also works a lot, so I wouldn't be able to be at people's beck and call, like, hey, can we do a photo shoot tonight or even this month, you know? My schedule's really busy, so it's really hard. Mm -hmm. um, and most importantly, I just don't have the time nor babysitters to do the post-processing that photography requires because it does require a lot more um, post-processing than taking the actual photos. Um, <laughs> and another thing, I just, I don't really want to get around to filing taxes and all that sort of stuff, creating a website, maintaining a website, maintaining a blog. I just, I don't have the time for it right now, so that's why it's currently not for me. Yes, and also the things she was mentioning are great because when you have a business, going and taking the pictures and editing the pictures, probably the things that you really like are probably the easiest and quickest things that is involved with the business because you spend many hours even before the session emailing your clients, ask, answering their questions, trying to find the perfect location for them. So there's so much planning and effort that goes into everything even before you meet the client first off. You have to have the legality set with your business licenses and your sales taxes and all the stuff that goes into it. Even your insurance. Yes, insurance. Even certain <laughs> certain venues require her to bring her Yep, insurance my liability too. insurance certificate. So there's all sorts of stuff that goes on like that. You also have to have an accountant or be an accountant yourself, which uh, I'm really, really... She hires <laughs> one. <laughs> yes, I'm really, really, really bad with like my taxes and stuff, so I hire an accountant, but... You know, for me, I have to file taxes every month as well as every year. So every month I file my city taxes and then every year I file my regular income tax just like everybody else. But there's so much planning that goes into owning a business and going out there, taking the pictures, editing the pictures, probably the stuff that you love is what you're going to be doing the least as a business owner because you spend so much time behind the scenes. You have to do marketing, accounting, your your own secretary. You don't have a boss that you can ask questions to, you know. You have to deal with everything yourself. So there's a lot of pressure and time that goes into it and like I said tears because it's a really personal business. When I when I thought about going into a business, I wanted to do a business because first of all, I was 18 when I started my business, so I didn't have a family like she did. I didn't have kids to worry about. And I'm not saying just because you have kids or you're a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean you can't have a business because you certainly can if you give yourself the time and the effort that it needs to grow a business. But I started it because I honestly, I just really knew that I wanted to go into that as a career. And so when I started my business, I made sure that I had all of my sales tax licenses, my business licenses, everything set up so that when I actually started charging and making money, that I already had all that stuff figured out so I didn't have to worry about that later on. So if you really look into it and you know that you need to have licenses and taxes and everything like that, if you've done your homework, if you know your local laws, then you're probably ready to open your doors and start a business. If you configure your pricing accordingly, and we'll have a video just covering how to, how to price yourself basically, 
you really need to do the numbers behind your business and know that it is a business. It needs to turn a profit. We all want to shoot for free for our friends and stuff, but that's not really feasible if you're trying to start a business and be recognized as a professional. So you really need to take the proper steps to knowing the laws, knowing your pricing, having a professional presence, and of course having images that speak for themselves because that's what you're selling at the end of the day. So and you know, on top of taking great pictures and having a great confidence in your work, you also need to know that that's what you're going to be doing the least as a business owner. You're going to be doing a lot of other stuff behind the scenes that has absolutely nothing to do with photography. <laughs> so if you're ready to accept all of that responsibility, then it's probably time for you to start thinking about a business. But if you haven't even thought about it yet, then you really need to consider that and do your homework, know everything that goes into it before you make that move to start a photography business. So that's exactly why I have continued to take pictures for myself and for couple close family and friends hmm. here and there but that's it right yep. there and just because you might not be ready to start today doesn't mean that you might not work up to it sometime eventually but you know just because you can start a business doesn't mean that you should I think there's you know a fine line between a real professional photographer and somebody who just does it as a hobby so make sure that you make that decision educated don't base it off of your passion or your talent or somebody telling you you should start a business really, really think about it, evaluate it, and we hope that you can make the proper decision. If you have any questions about this, let us know. We're not legal lawyers or accountants and stuff like that, um, so we don't that's know. That's why we hire them. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why we hire them. We don't know, you know, all of, the, all of the rules that go into it, so make sure that you check that out based on your local laws. Alrighty, thanks guys. <laughs> don't forget to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.